Hi guys, this is Dr. Nyan Chandra. Good afternoon to all. Here we are going to uh, discuss about closed sets. Uh, we can define closed sets in a metric space. Uh, in RD, we have the idea for closed interval A, B, but it's not immediately clear how to define closed set in general. Note that the complement of the closed interval, closed interval A comma B is the open set minus infinity comma A union B comma infinity. This is true in R. Now we can see the general definition of closed sets. Let M comma D be a metric space. Throughout this video, we can assume M comma D be a metric space, REM. A subset S of a metric space M is said to be closed if its complement is open in M. Okay. So see... This is my yum. Then this is my subset. Yes. This is S complement. We have already seen what is open and open ball, other one in previous video. So this is yes, and the S complement is open when you can say that yes is closed. So not a set can be both open and closed. Okay. Here, empty set and whole set are the only set which is both open and closed in any metric space. And furthermore, it is possible for a set um, to be neither open nor closed. For example, in R with the usual metric of half open bounded interval, this is neither open nor closed. Similarly, this interval is also. This is neither open and nor closed. Okay, let us see some of the examples of closed sets. In real line, see, we can represent R in a line. This is R. This is minus infinity and infinity, okay? Any closed interval. For example, we can take a closed interval, closed interval A comma B. Yeah. This is a closed set because it's complement. I already seen that it's complement minus infinity comma A union B comma infinity is open because this is an open set and this is an open set. And already we know that arbitrary union of open sets is open. Therefore, this complement A comma B complement A comma B closed interval A comma B complement is open. Therefore, this closed interval A comma B is closed. Okay, this is in R. Now we can see what is uh, closed in ASCA. Consider a unit circle that is, this is a circle with the center origin and the radius one. See here, it's less than or equal to set of all x comma y such that x square plus y square less than or equal to one. So I can consider the interior of this circle. Okay, interior of this circle. And also in the boundary. This is boundary. Okay. So these are the, uh, this is closed in R curve. Okay. See here I have represented it. This is open set. Now open set means boundary points are not included. And the closed sets, it boundary points are included. Okay. okay. This is an R curve. Now any set consists of uh, finite points is closed. That is a set which contains only a finite point is a closed set. Okay, now what is closed reset? Its complement is open, and I have given some of examples of closed resets. Let us uh, see some theorems that is, empty set and whole set are closed. Okay, and arbitrary intersection of closed resets is closed, and a finite union of closed resets is closed. Uh, remember. In open sets, arbitrary union of open sets is open, okay? And here, vice versa, there's complement that is arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed and a finite union of closed sets is closed. Uh, first one is trivial from the definition itself, okay? And the second one, arbitrary intersection. So I have taken a uh, closed set EF that is nothing better than arbitrary intersection of intersection F alpha where each F alpha is closed, okay? Uh, uh, we know that uh, a set is closed, its complement is open, so f alpha can be written as x difference e alpha, where each u alpha is open. And using d Mavis law, you can get f is closed. Similar way, you can prove that finite union of closed sets is closed. I have written f as a union of finite closed sets. This can be written as this intersection i equal to 1 to n x difference ui using d Mavis law. Uh, and the same concept is used uh, are, uh, here, open set, uh, complement of open set is closed set, okay? 
okay now we just now we have seen what is closed set and uh, what are the properties of closed set now we will move on to the limit point okay a point x is said to be a limit point of a set s if there exists a sequence x and s which is converges to x where x and belongs to s and x and not equal to x see i have a set s i have a sequence x in in s and the sequence converging to a point x in s okay so then x and not equal to s this is a limit point definition another one definition of limit point in terms of open set we can see later see some of the examples of uh, limit uh, limit points consider r with mutual metric i have taken closed interval half closed interval 0 1 okay see here 0 and 1 are the limit points and uh, similarly uh, the unit intervals sorry uh, similarly the circle with the center at the origin and the radius 1 uh, unit circle inside inside the points in oscar with the usual metric as limit points boundary points i already told these all are the boundary points the boundary points are the limit points the boundary points are the limit points. okay now let us see limit points of the set of all integers we have taken z the set of all integers so uh, limit points of z is nothing but empty set okay and limit points of the set of all rational qs uh, are r because q is dense in r we will see later Okay, now here after we can write b of x comma r instead of b of x comma r. Uh, there is no confusion because we have we are we always no need to mention the metric d in both domain and codomain are uh, same metric. We have same metric. We no need to mention always b of uh, x comma r instead of b of x comma r. We can write b of x comma r. Now let us see a theorem. Uh, in limit point, a point x is said to be a limit point of the set S. Yes. The characterization theorem it is if and only if for any open set U containing x, U also contains y belongs to S and y not equal to S. Yes. So, this is one I already told. I have given. Uh, I would like to give uh, characterization of uh, limit point in terms of open sets. Suppose x is a limit point of S. Yes. We can take an open set U which contains x. so this is my set and this is my open set here i have take a point x i choose r greater than 0 such that always we have find because my set is open so uh, i have to found an open ball with the center at its radius r this is bx r lies inside u so bx r is contained in u by now i am going to use a hypothesis by hypothesis there is a sequence x in in yes i have found a sequence x in in yes converging to yes because x is a limit point so there is a sequence x in in yes which is converges to yes for some m this m x m not equal to x and x m belongs to bx so this x m is lies in bx so this open ball this means that y equal to x m in the point we can get this okay yeah and conversely we can take a uh, open ball with the center x and the radius 1 by n contains x in uh, different from x and x in belongs to x and here we get the sequence x in converges to x which shows that x is a limit point of yes so this theorem we can define limit points by open sets so shall i remember the a point x is a limit point of s so we can take a neighborhood that is bx r bxr intersection that uh, set that means our set is s okay uh, here i have taken my set is s uh, minus x i have removed the point x that is different from x which is not equal to empty so this is the definition for limit point in terms of open sets okay okay now let us bring the definition for closure before that i would like to mention Uh, the relationship between uh, closed to set and limit points we can say that a set is closed it contains all its limit points i already informed uh, i have taken an element x this s yes, uh, this is my set i have taken an element x i i may take an element x here uh, see x may or may not be a member of uh, this s yes. 
because limit point of a set may not may or may not be a member of set when we say that a set is closed it contains all its limit points we can say that a set is closed if it contains all its limit points remember that okay now let us bring another characterization for uh, closed sets uh, in the first video we can see that a function f is continuous if and only if inverse image of every open set is open the similar characterization theorem is called for continuous functions as well as closed sets that is a function f is continuous if and only if its inverse image of every closed set is closed so one only one thing we have to use we have to use a function f is continuous as well as a closed set and we can use the de Morvis theorem we can get the inverse image of every closed set is closed very easily now let us move on to closure of a set uh, the closure of a set is denoted by s closure and is defined to be the union of s and the limit points of s shall we uh, see in detail it may not be so clear that for any set s yes, closure is a closed set which contains s yes. uh, in the next theorem we can show that my uh, s closure is the smallest closed set containing s as well as this is a definition of closure also uh, so closure of s yes, is defined as the intersection of all closed sets which contains s yes. so this is the theorem so see here for the set s yes, i have taken a set s yes. define c equal to set of all f such that this f is closed and contains s yes, okay and is a collection of all closed sets then s yes, closure is contained in intersection of f the intersection of all elements of c we can see we can easily prove this theorem by using complement of open set as well as um, uh, de Morvis theorem okay so now another characterization for closed set. Yes, set S is closed if and only 